Welcome! If you do not have much experience with academic research databases, the record entries can be very overwhelming and confusing. In this video, I will outline what the various sections mean and what type of information they contain. Now that we have filtered our results, we are ready to start looking at them more closely to determine if we might be interested in using them for our assignments. From the results list page, we can see the article title, authors, publication information, and number of times cited. You can view the abstract by clicking on View Abstract located at the bottom of each individual entry. You can see that Web of Science highlights your search terms in the title and abstract. This allows you to see why the article was retrieved. If you are receiving a lot of irrelevant results, have a look at the highlighted terms to see if they have been misinterpreted by the database or may have a different meaning in a different discipline. If you are interested in the article, click on the title. This will open a details page. Here we can see the title, authors, publication information, and abstract. Immediately below the abstract are keywords. Author keywords are provided by the author, while Keywords Plus are assigned by the database. Have a quick look at the keywords to see if there are any additional terms that you may want to add to your search. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, you can see the reference list, which contains all of the sources cited or used as evidence in this article. Lastly, on the upper right hand side, you can see the number of times cited. Click on the number to view more information about the articles that have used this article as a reference. Continue on to the final video in the series to learn how to access the full text version of an article from Web of Science. Thanks for watching and happy searching!